Good afternoon, Canastota. I'm Sean Basada, superintendent at the Canastota Central Schools, and this is the weekly video update for Thursday, August 6th. This week, I'll once again focus on the district reopening plan, and I'd like to start by reviewing the major developments of the past week. First of all, the district released the 58-page district reopening plan last Thursday, a day ahead of the July 31st deadline. That plan is posted on our website along with a two-page summary document of some of the key elements of the plan, as well as video, a video that outlines the plan and the ongoing process we are involved with as we prepare for the start of a new school year. Earlier this week, two important documents came out. Uh, one was the most recent survey that went out to our families. We received 982 responses from this survey alone which is a tremendous response and will go a long way in providing us crucial information relating to family specific requests and concerns relating to their child's educational plan. Our administrative team is now uh, working hard uh, to use that information to create specific plans tailored to the needs of each child. This will be an ongoing process as we head towards September. Secondly, we added a frequently asked questions section to our reopening materials on our website. We will continue to add questions and answers in the coming days and weeks to make sure you are as informed as possible. The vast majority of questions our school community has will be addressed through this regularly updated document. As we take this video segment, we still are waiting for the decision of the governor regarding whether or not districts will be able to reopen with their proposed reopening plans. We were told several weeks ago that the governor would make a decision the first week of August on the status of reopening of schools. Since we're running out of week, we, since anticip we uh, now anticipate that he will now, as is his pattern, not release information until Friday or even the weekend. And since we also know that what comes in writing from the state does not always match what he says in briefings and press conferences, we plan on releasing another video at the beginning of next week that recaps both his announcement and the clarifications that will follow after his announcement. As long as he still does make his decision in the next day or two, we'll send an update out at the beginning of the week. Now let's talk about testing. This week, the governor caused quite a stir by implying that schools need to do COVID-19 testing prior to school starting. This message was completely contrary to the guidance provided by the Educa State Education Department. In fact, page 41 of that reopening guidance document clearly states that this is not the responsibility or requirement of school districts. It seems as if the State Department of Health has tried to walk back the governor's statement and we're assuming more specific guidance will be forthcoming. But to clarify, there is broad acknowledgement that districts were not and still are not expected to be conducting testing of staff and students. We are an educational institution, not a hospital. As such, we will work with the local and state health departments and experts in the field to coordinate our response to any requirements related to COVID-19 testing. Will testing play a vital role in the management of the, vi of the virus as schools reopen? Absolutely, but it should not, and we are anticipating will not be a role filled directly by school districts. That will be left to the healthcare experts. Beginning next Tuesday, we will unveil the first in a series of informational videos that will provide answers to the most frequently asked questions related to our reopening plan. These videos will be released every few days for the remainder of the summer. The videos will be archived on our website so that you can review at your convenience. Our first video in this informational series will give you an overview of the cleaning protocols the district is using to provide the safest environment possible for staff and students. Look for that video on Tuesday. And look for our update on all of the implications of the governor's impending decision on the reopening of schools at the beginning of the week. In the meantime, continue to call and email us with questions. Check out our updates on our website. Stay safe, have a great weekend, and go Raiders.